a treat for you. Apparently in the woods, between running around and rubbing hoods and me, uh, our friend little John has time to read. I know, I'm as shocked as you are. So, little John, with the help of Pandora, the sheriff's daughter, I know. I think they got a little bit of a seat for you. Come on out, Johnny. Lysander and the fair Hermia, the one I have slain, the other slain me. Thou toadst me they were stolen unto this wood, and here I am, and woed within this wood, because I cannot meet my Hermia. Hence, get thee gone, and follow me no more. You draw me, you hard-hearted animals, yet you draw not iron, for my heart is true as steel. Leave you your power to draw, and I will have no power to follow you. Oh, God. Do I entice you? Do I speak you fair? Or rather, do I not in plainest truth tell you I do not, nor I cannot love you? And even for that, do I love you the more? No. I am your spaniel, and Demetrius. The more you beat me, I will fawn on you. Oh, use me, but as your spaniel. Spurn me, strike me, neglect me, lose me. Oh, give me leave, hurry me, 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 as I am to follow you. What worse place can I beg in your love and get a place of high respect for me than to be used as you use your dog? Oh, my God. Tempt not too much the hatred of my spirit, for I am sick when I do look on thee. Oh, when I am sick when I look not on you. You do impeach your modesty too much to leave the city and commit yourself into the hands of one that loves you not. To trust in the opportunity of night and, and the ill counsel of a desert place with the rich worth of your virginity? Your virtue is my privilege, in that it is not night when I see your face, therefore I think I am not in the night. Nor doth this wood lack worlds of company, but how can it be said that I am alone when all the world is here to look upon me? <laughs> You're right! 